One of America's most important founders was a man named Charles Thompson, who was said to have been closer to the events and people of the American Revolution than any other man of that era. Thompson was the Congressional Secretary from 1774 to 1789, all the way through the Revolution and the establishment of the federal government. He was also the man who made the final decisions for the design of the Great Seal of the United States, which can now be found on the back of America's dollar bill. As the new American Republic was being founded, Thompson made a detailed history of the events that took place during the Revolution, and of the men who were being celebrated as heroes across the country. Though he was compelled repeatedly to publish this history, Thompson declined. No, he said, I ought not, for I should contradict all the histories of the great events of the Revolution. Let the world admire the supposed wisdom and valor of our great men. He said, I shall not undeceive future generations. As a result, Thompson eventually destroyed his manuscript and what may have been the truest account of the American Revolution was lost for all time. It might be said that any serious investigation into America's history should begin with Thompson's story and his decision not to undeceive future generations. What did Thompson mean? What was he hiding? And since we are the future generation, what have we been deceived about? Are they trying to infiltrate churches? They've already infiltrated it. And their effort is to destroy Christianity. They have been, for the last 400 years, implacable enemies. Satan's been running that same stuff through since, since the uh, Egyptian mysteries. Unless you understand that these people worship a different God, you will never understand what the secret is. This nation's founding documents don't state that we're built upon uh, the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's kind of a, a fantasy Christianity that a lot, a lot of people would like to have. Two parallel forces. Satan comes as an angel of light to deceive people. And when you're bringing your thumb to your throat and swearing to have your throat slit, and you're a pastor, you've got a problem. You know, you can be buried in your white lambskin apron, but you're still going to hell.